All right, Shalom, Shalom. We're the real Hebrew Israelites coming day in and day out to prophesy the downfall of Babylon the Great. First off and foremost, Kol Halayim Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Makar Kadash, Barakatha. Uh, double honors to the old apostles, the great millstone, salutations to the elect, wherever you may be. I'm going to hop straight into it because the uh, spirit jumped on me earlier today of a topic. And basically, the house of David is prepared for war. All right, spiritually and, and, and physically, when Yahweh Bashim Yahshai give us those new bodies, man. But first, it starts with this truth: being the sword, you know, that the, the helmet of salvation, the shield of faith. All right. So we have those spiritual things also too, but only the house of David, which is, i.e., the elect. All right, is going to have this uh, this faith or or, or 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 this weapon. All right, uh, that's needed for war. Spiritual warfare, uh, spiritual warfare, man. All right. Now, first, to start with this, Amos nine and eleven, and then that day, when I raised the tabernacles of David that has fallen, and close up the breaches thereof, and I will raise up his ruins, and I will, uh, and I will build it as the days of old. All right. Does a hey, does not Haggai say that a hey, the latter house should be uh, much greater than a former house? All right, so the Lord, hey, is building up the house of David now through the word. And that's only going to be of the elect that's going to wake up, man. All right. And it says, hey, he's going to close up the breaches. All right. And, and that's what we're prescribed to do as prophets, man, to fill up, to fill the gaps, man. All right. To have that, a uh, 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 build up that wall and have that solid foundation. All right. Through the scriptures. Okay. A first Peter two and four to whom can coming as the living stone disallowed indeed of men, but chosen of Yahweh, all right, which is talking about Yahweh Shai and precious ye also. So not only a hey, Yahweh Shai, hey, we're under him. All right. We're his sons. All right. <clears throat> it says. Ye also as lively stones are built up a spiritual house. A holy priesthood to offer up spiritual sacrifices. All right. And who's the sacrifice? Uh, um, not only Yahweh Shai, but us. Hey, present your bodies as a uh, living sacrifice. And we're also what? The temple of Yahweh. All right. So, hey, we're, hey, it says what? Ye are as what? Lively stones. So a lively stone is what? Constantly on fire. Constantly, you know, when you put that lively stone in the, in the light or the sunlight, it flickers. Hey, hey what these rappers call today uh, wet. All right. It looks like uh, your, your diamonds are, uh, or so-called your stones are uh, dripping. All right. So lively, flashy, uh, flamboyant stones, man. All right. They're shining in the light. All right. So constantly doing this work are built up a spiritual house, a holy priesthood to offer up spiritual sacrifices acceptable to Yahweh by Yahweh Shai Mashiach. Wherefore also is it contained in this scripture, behold, I lay in Zion a chief cornerstone. All right, going back to the Old Testament, elect, precious. He that believeth on him should not be confounded, which is going into the elect, believing on Yahweh Shai, until you therefore, yeah, hold on, baby, and which believeth he is precious, but unto them which be disobedient, the stone which the builders disallowed, the same is made the head of the cornerstone. All right. And which are these two thirds and everybody else. Hey, uh, they rejected the, the chief cornerstone, which is Yahweh Shai, man. All right. So that's why this thing is only for the elect. All right. And, and, and us having that found uh, uh, that strong foundation, building that uh, this house upon the rock. All right. Starting with Yahweh, then his son, Yahweh Shai. All right, so that rock being Yahweh by Shimmy Yahweh Shai now, man. All right. Oh, hey, well, let's get the parable in Matthews. Matthew 7 and 24. Therefore, whosoever heareth these sayings of mine, so whoever understandeth these sayings and doeth them, I will liken him unto a wise man that built his house upon a rock. And when the rain descended and the floods came and the wind blew and beat upon that house, so when all the affliction came, the storm and the tempest, when all that came, guess what? And it fell not, for it was founded upon a rock. All right? Everyone that heareth these sayings of mine and doeth them not shall be like an, a tough, foolish man, which built his house upon sand, and sand is unstable. Okay? 
and rain just said, hey, if you you put a damn, uh, you build a house uh, on the beach, all right, and a hurricane come or something like that, hey, it's going to blow that house completely away, man. First of all, it's not on the foundation, and it's right next to the water, man, all right? Uh, it says, which built his house upon sand, and when the rain descended, and the floods came, and the winds blew and beat upon the house, it fell, and great was the fall of it. All right, so great is going to be the fall of a lot of you you two-thirds, especially you niggas that's high up, especially false prophets, okay? And going to what I was saying earlier, hey, the, the house of David, uh, David, the house of Dewat, all right? By off the wad, hey, we're, uh, well, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, we are that hopeful elect. Hey, we're uh, uh, equipped, all right, and prepped for war spiritually, man. All right, and then when Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai give us uh, um, the new bodies and the new powers, hey, then we'll be physically ready, uh, according to um, Ezekiel 25 and uh, 14. Okay, so this is Second Samuel, uh, third chapter. First verse. Now there was a long war between the house of Saul and the house of David. I a the house the house of Saul represents you two thirds. A especially you false prophets, and the house of Dawad. Hey, simply the elect. All right, but David waxed stronger and stronger, and the house of Saul waxed weaker and weaker. All right. So through the Spirit, that's what's happening, man. All right, going back to that Amos nine and eleven. All right, the tabernacles of David getting built up. Becoming stronger and stronger and stronger, man. Through the spirit and the power of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, man. Hey, Psalms 122 and 3. Jerusalem is built as a city that is compact together. Whether the tribes go up, the tribes of Yahweh, all right, unto the testimony of Israel to give thanks to the name of Yahweh, for there are set thrones of judgment. The thrones of the house of David. All right. Simply put, a hundred and forty-four thousand, man. Starting with, uh, uh, um, you know, you have Yahweh Shai. Starting with, uh, uh um, Malak the All right. So on and so forth. The hundred and forty-four thousand prophets, man, and then their families after that. All right. Because hey, you know, them amongst our family who are the elect, if they males, hey, they're gonna be kings too in the kingdom, man. You know, um, this is a uh, pray for the peace of Jerusalem. They shall prosper that uh, uh, Salakia pray for the peace of Jerusalem. They shall prosper that love thee. All right. So, hey, we should be praying for our salvation constantly. All right. This is a hey, going back. Hey, it said compact together. Right. This is Ephesians 2 and 20. In our built up. The foundation of the apostles and prophets. So these other stones which are laid upon what? Yahweh Shai Mashiach himself being the chief cornerstone. Alright? Going back to the um what's that? The the first Peter that first Peter two and four that uh, we read. Alright? And are built up upon the foundation of the apo uh, apostles and prophets, Yahweh Shai Mashiach himself being the chief cornerstone, in whom all the building fitly framed together groweth unto a holy temple in Yahweh. All right? In whom ye also are built together for a habitation of the power through the Spirit. All right? Because we're the temple, man. All right? And, and this third temple is the house of the wide man simply put the elect okay the uh the israel of yahweh all right that's why it says all israel is not of israel hey all israel ain't part of the chosen the chosen of the chosen all right the uh, the first fruits no so like it the, <laughs> the first fruits all right so hey i i pray that um I pray that this was edifying. Hey, through the spirit and the power of your how about you, shy, man? Hey, we almost out of her. Like I said, hey, that faith is growing. Hey, we're, we're reaching. Um, hey, the Israelite foreigners are waking up through the spirit and power of your how about you, shy? Shalom. All right. Shalom. Um, and, uh, hey, the, hey, the prophecies are popping off. Hey, so we're almost out of this thing, man.
All right, and through hey, with that wisdom and knowledge and being the stability of our times, hey, that's what's gonna hey it push the house of the wide hey to stand uh fast, man. Because hey, first of all, they're the chosen, and guess what? They're gonna